camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. <laughs> Hello, my name is Bob. Welcome to a short stop on pool. Who hasn't looked at something close while switching between your left and right eye? Camera one, camera two, camera one, camera two. In this video, you will learn what your left and right eye are doing while you play pool. What is your dominant eye and what is your pool playing vision center? We'll look at the why, the importance of proper vision center alignment, the what, the components of the human eye as they relate to playing pool, the how, how to find your vision center, and finally, how to align your vision center to the pool shot. I'll share with you what I've learned over 40 years of playing pool while always keeping in mind my favorite acronym. You don't know what you don't know. I don't claim to know everything, and I know there's always more to learn. So let's begin this journey and see where it takes us. Why is it important to align your vision center? It is possible to learn to play well without a perfectly aligned vision center. Many players do. Let's take a look at a couple of examples why vision center alignment is important. Consider this image of what you might see while down on a shot. Where is this image kept? Is it real? Real is simply electrical signals interpreted by your brain. Your brain, as you play pool, will learn how to relate what you see with where your cue stick is pointed. I spent nearly my entire career playing pool with the assumption that my cue stick should be underneath my dominant eye. I learned to play pretty well, but it was hard work. Here's why. While shooting this shot, I discovered my pocketing percentage was higher when cutting the ball to the left than to the right. I discovered that my aiming point was different for each shot. In other words, my brain was seeing a different aiming point when cutting the exact same shot to the left and to the right. This realization sparked my journey to discover the cause. I must give Sam Dietvidal and Dr. Dave Alciator huge credit for pointing the way. Today, my aiming point is exactly the same for each shot. Here's another example. Does this sometimes happen to you when you shoot a stop shot? One cause for unintentional side spin on the cue ball is a misaligned vision center. Before diving into the vision center, we need to learn a little bit about how our eyes capture those images for our brain. My apologies to eye care professionals for any inaccuracies. The following information is limited to what might be important to pool players, but eyesight is far more complicated than what I present here. Nature has lots of eyes. Most are side-facing and some face forward. Humans have forward-facing eyes and binocular vision. Binocular vision means your eyes focus on the same object while the brain combines the two images into one and they can change focus quickly between near and far objects. By combining two 3D images, your eyes can estimate distances, though we are more accurate the closer the object. Fixation, the ability to fix your gaze on an object, is a complicated process made possible by the eye's fovea, a central pit of closely packed cones in the center of the eye. The sharpest, most detailed area of your vision is the central fixation area of the fovea, accounting for 5 to 8 degrees of your field of view. When combining images from each eye, the brain gives dominance to one eye. Eye dominance is similar to being right or left-handed in that we all have it. About 90% of humans are right-handed, while just 67% of humans are right eye dominant. So cross-eye dominance for example, being right-handed but left-eye dominant isn't too unusual. The center of your vision, though, is usually not centered on your dominant eye. Here's how it works. The direction of your gaze is called version. The angle of each eye as it fixes on an object is called the vergence. Your brain averages the visual direction of each eye, so the image appears to be aligned with a center point called the cyclopean eye. This is the center of your vision usually, but not always, located closer to the dominant eye. As pool players, our goal is to place our vision center directly over our cue stick to have the best chance of delivering the cue straight at the aiming point. Shooting straight involves proper alignment of your feet, hips, arms, shoulders, shooting elbow, and vision center. Your vision center alignment involves your head position while shooting, but before working on that alignment, you need to find your own unique vision center. Ja, 
eyes can deceive you. Don't trust them. Sorry, Obi-Wan, but unless you are a Jedi, you need to align your vision center with your lightsaber. I mean your Q-stick. It's easy and fun to find your dominant eye, so we'll start there. Hold your hands at arm's length, making a triangle opening, and look at a distant object through the hole with both eyes open. Now close your right eye. Did the object disappear? If so, then you're right eye dominant like me. The object didn't disappear. Instead, your hands shifted in your field of view because your brain is only receiving information from your left eye from which the vergence or the angle is different. When a right eye dominant person has their left eye closed, your hands don't shift in the field of view because your brain gives preference to that eye and the vergence is close to your vision center. And now what you've been waiting for, I'll show you two ways to find your vision center. The first way, fold a thick piece of paper in half. Here I taped a square piece to make sure it's at 90 degrees. Now tape that paper to a mirror. Hold your face square to the mirror with both eyes open. Move your head slowly side to side until you can see only the edge of the paper extending from the mirror. The edge of the paper marks your vision center. Mine is just to the right of the bridge of my nose. The second way is the pool ball method. Line up at least four balls down the length of the table. You could use your cue to make sure that they're perfectly straight. Now you'll need a friend to hold the camera or set up a camera on a tripod and make sure it's sighted straight down the row of balls. Now move your head down low square to the table. With both eyes open, move your head from side to side until the row of balls looks perfectly aligned. Signal the camera with a thumbs up. All right, that was easy. Now comes the challenging part, aligning your cue stick underneath your vision center. Unlike some creatures, humans are not able to rotate their eyes independently. Your eyes rotate together with your head, or the head can remain fixed and the eyes shift left and right. One way to think about it is the human head can rotate on three axes. The x-axis is perpendicular to the shot line. Rotating your head around the x-axis causes your eyes to look up or down. The y-axis is parallel to the shot line. Rotating your head around the y-axis adjusts the level of your eyes in relation to the pool table and the z-axis points to the ceiling. Rotating your head around the z-axis turns your verge, or vision direction, onto or away from the shot line. Checking your alignment is easier than ever because everyone's carrying a camera in their pocket. However, you need to be aware of camera parallax. Watch what happens when the camera pans across my vision center. From this side, my head alignment looks very good, but from the other side, my head, and my elbow for that matter, don't look properly aligned. Only when your camera is pointed directly down the cue stick can you make an assessment of whether your XYZ alignment of your head and your vision center are in the right place. At this point, I need to make a quick disclaimer. Every pool player's body is unique and many people have health or mobility conditions to consider. Only you can decide how important textbook alignment is to your game and your goals. At the end of the day, pool is just a game and it's not worth hurting yourself over. That said, any change you make will feel uncomfortable at first, but with proper rehearsal, will start to feel comfortable and normal. Most players have little trouble keeping their head level on the Y axis. The same is true for the X axis, though I have a tip for those of you who, like me, have trouble with rising up on your shot. When you first address the cue ball, make sure that your head is rotated up a little bit higher so that when you do your final stroke, you're not tempted to look up at the object ball, thus causing your head to rise up. Here I am shooting pool about 13 years ago. Notice just before the follow through, my eyes look up, which causes my head and my body to rise up as well. By setting up with your head rotated upwards, you're less likely to want to rise up to be able to watch the shot. You can watch it from the down position. Z-axis head rotation, however, is another matter. I have personally found it very difficult to get my head rotated straight down the shot line, and there are tons of expert players who don't. Let's take a look at this photo for an example. This is Judd Trump on the left and Joe McGee on the right preparing to leg for break at the 2021 US Open. Judd's head alignment and stance is an example of what is generally considered textbook. His head is perfectly aligned on the X, Y, and Z axis. His shoulder and elbow are also perfectly aligned with the cue stick. Joe McGee's cue, shoulder, and elbow are also perfectly aligned. I think camera parallax makes his elbow appear to be out of alignment, but it's lined up. And both players' vision center is just to the right of their nose and aligned well, which makes Judd Trump cross-eye dominant, by the way. 
Note, however, that Joe McGee's head is rotated to the right on the z-axis just a bit. I am not picking on Joe. Many pool players would rightly be envious of his stance and alignment, and a slight rotation on the z-axis is common among pool players, amateurs and pros alike. I'm asking you to consider that the fovea of his right eye is just slightly farther away from the cue ball than the fovea of his left eye. Is this an important difference? If you look at champion players from years ago, you would have to conclude that it is not. Every one of these players exhibits at least some z-axis rotation of their head. Keep in mind as you review all of these pictures that camera parallax may be distorting our perception of their actual head alignment in relation to the shot line. Now compare as we move into recent and current pro pool players how much more closely their head is aligned with the cue stick and shot line. Pause this video and find the players who are cross-eyed dominant and locate the position of each player's vision center. In my opinion, every single player's vision center is on one side of their face or the other, except for two, Dennis Orcolio and Siming Chen. There's another player you may have heard of who played with his cue underneath his chin, not underneath his vision center. Snooker legend Steve Davis. Notice that his head is pointed straight down the queue. You won't hear me criticize Steve Davis's setup, but in my opinion, as the internet and modern communication makes best practices more widely understood, taught, and refined, you are seeing the best pros align their cue stick under their vision center with zero z-axis rotation of their head. Now, what can you do with this information? Only you can decide how important vision center alignment is to your game and goals. My hope is that you can now make an informed decision. But remember, alignment involves much more than just your vision, so an instructor can be invaluable. Let's review. We learned that good vision center alignment is necessary for acquiring a consistent sight picture when cutting balls to the left and right, and for striking the cue ball in the center or precisely where you intend. Just one small part of your retina is responsible for detailed focus where your vision fixates. Your cyclopean eye or vision center is usually near your dominant eye. We learned how to find your dominant eye and vision center, and that aligning your vision center involves both placing it over your cue stick and proper head orientation. I found it interesting that the instruction materials I found for archery and target shooting do not mention the vision center, but focus only on the dominant eye. Could it be that pool requires more accuracy? Is more three-dimensional information needed to play pool? In my opinion, yes. And that's why I want to leave you with one more thought about the technique and effort duality of pool. I mentioned that I learned to play pretty well with a poorly aligned vision center, but it was hard work. In my experience, Shot making is much easier now that my head is in the right place. Good technique without quality effort leads to very slow and limited improvement, while poor technique with hard work can lead to an advanced skill level given enough time. But good technique combined with dedication and hard work is the only way to reach your highest potential and in the least amount of time. While you consider that, don't forget the most important rule of pool. No matter your skill level, you're doing it wrong if you're not having fun. I hope you found that informative, entertaining, and helpful. If you did, please hit the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up. Head over to satoriflatrack.com and check out the promo video for my new and unique pool ball rack. And of course, shortstoponpool.com for my book, A Shortstop on Straight Pool. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time at Shortstop on Pool.